Heart Journey with Diana Howe. My name is Diana Howe, and I am the lay leader for Elm Park United Methodist Church. This is a bi-weekly web series that has a special guest that will talk to us about upcoming events, programs, and announcements. My guest today is our senior pastor, Reverend Mike Biala. So how are you doing this evening? Doing fine. Glad to be here again, Diana. Oh, that's wonderful. We always enjoy having conversations with you and your found information. So our subject today is annual conference. Can you tell us what annual conference is? Wow. Well, as its name sounds, it's a uh, annual gathering uh, of representatives, clergy, and lay from each of our churches, just around 900 of them in the Susquehanna Conference, who gather together uh, under the leadership of our bishop and cabinet uh, to discuss issues of the church, the business of the church, to do some visioning, uh, to talk about where we have had impact in mission and ministry, uh, to set the annual budget, to hear reports from key leadership, and also to, to holy conference, to spend some time trying to discern where it is God is leading us as we hear and share fellowship with each other. That sounds like an awful lot to accomplish over yes. a couple of days um, it is. for us with conference. Uh, are there any additional things that happen there um, as we meet? <clears throat> we have an opening service mm -hmm. that celebrates our gathering. Uh, and usually uh, Bishop Clark would be our, our speaker for that event. And it kind of sets the stage for our work together. That first evening we'll have the memorial service where we uh, remember all of the clergy and lay members of annual conference who have passed away during the year. Uh, on the morning of each day, there will be some sort of either a Bible study or a time of learning. Uh, and of course, our meal times are great gatherings when we get to sit and talk with folks from all over the conference and share what's going on in their churches and learn about what's going on in ours. Um, it's, it's a great time of fellowship and learning. It certainly sounds like it, especially with that large number of people. Mm -hmm. um, who's going to be representing Elm Park this year? Well, we're quite fortunate because of the size of our membership on paper. Uh, we get um, uh, more than one lay member. Typically, a church has one lay member uh, and the pastor who attend. So we actually have two lay members attending, and they are uh, Lee Redman and Sarah Cooper, uh, and also, um, you're going to be there as a page, I believe, this year again. Yes, yes. Uh, and uh, that's, a, that's a neat opportunity to, to serve and also be a part of the gatherings. Um, and I'll be there. <laughs> uh, one of, you know, we'll represent our church as a gathering of around 1,600 people. And that's, uh, that's, that's a lot of folks to talk about uh, Christ in the church. It is. I think it's a, <clears throat> a wonderful opportunity for us all to get together and later on when we all return from conference there will be reports available as to what went on uh, from our representatives. I, one more thing that I should have mentioned is uh, that Elm Park will be receiving this year the first annual Marty Cox Ecumenical Award. So when people think about ecumenical ministries, they usually think about church services shared with other denominations. But what we really are doing is a kind of outreach and mission ecumenical thing. We've got a safety net, which we share with other churches in supporting. We have Exodus Prison Ministry. Uh, we uh, support Sierra Leone, along with some other churches. We are uh, uh, currently um, sitting on the campus of uh, University of Scranton and our sister campus of Marywood University both are college, uh, Catholic colleges and we've got a good relationship with them. So there's a lot of these uh, ways of reaching out into the community ecumenically that we've been a part of and it's really nice to get the recognition uh, for all those who started those ministries and continue. Mm -hmm. And they are wonderful ministries for the community and really demonstrate what we should be about as those who are to transform the world. Exactly. So that, exactly. that's, at least we've got ourselves a few steps in that direction. Mm -hmm. I would like to thank everyone for watching this episode, and I'd like to thank Reverend Mike for being my guest again. 
If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button down below. If you have any ideas of topics we can discuss, please feel free to talk to or to email Wes Biala, Reverend Mike Biala, or myself. Have a blessed week and stay in prayer. As we share our blessings and our struggles, we can support each other as we explore God's call for each of us. Let us help each other find ways of making disciples for the transformation of the world. Grace and peace for the journey. Remember, we are better together.